See, that's what I'm talking about. They don't listen to me. Nobody ever listens to me when I tell them to take the wings off their car. Uh, basically, we're installing a new motor today, um, stroker motor. It's a bigger motor, changing the turbo setup a little bit. We are waiting for Captain Chaos to make some important tuning decisions so we can move forward and fabricate the stuff, get the motor in the car, and uh, get out of here. Uh, yeah. Waste gates, blow off valve, um, tires, dyno at the twins tomorrow. Oh, he, they want to get the twins? Yep. Nope. There's no way it's going to go on the dyno uh, SR. It, it spun the tires bad. The stroker is going to be worse. Once it starts spinning, it ain't going to recover. So what we need to really figure out is if we're going to run... We're going to run the tile or we're going to run the turbo spark. There's two different... Uh, or adapters. should we go ahead and run the big 60 and a helper? Just do it. Are we going to have enough time to get it done by tomorrow? There's two dilemmas you've got. We've got... Uh, dyno at the twins, then you've got Brian has four or five hours of suspension work to do to the car, aligning it, putting the new hubs on it, rebuilding the axles, and then Robert needs to get it to the track. Um, Robert wants to be there Friday morning, um, but we don't have to be there till Friday afternoon. I mean, you know, he'll I, I, bitch I and moan the whole time. I don't but. think it'll happen Friday morning, no way. Dude. Well, the dyno has to be verified. The stroke motor. Yeah, we have to go to yeah, the dyno. dyno I mean, is a must. Even yeah. one or two pulls, at least, to see what the lowest boost we can run and what's going to be the highest. And you talk to James Lane. The intake's got some markings on it, like carbon tracing. Look at this. Is that bent out? Yeah. It's leaking, I think. It's got like, grease tracings. Probably under boost. It's pushing a little bit. We'll just RTV. Well, it's almost like that flange is warped. Yeah, yeah. Just a second. Look at it. Feel the inside of it. Oh, wow. It's a ledge. It's, it's totally broke and cracked. It's cracked. Yeah, we had the. Yank that engine out that uh, Arthur's pulling the transmission off, and we're gonna put this guy in there. We've got a busy week coming up right now. The car's a little different this year. We talked about a new turbocharger, different power plants. So that what we've been doing all week is testing this different setup. When we race the car, we go from anywhere from 14 pounds of boost to upwards of 45 pounds of boost. So we need to have an accurate control mechanism that works from 14 to 45 pounds. Well, the last setup we had, we were only about from 15 to about 30, which isn't a big enough window, which means that on the high end of the track, we don't have the power that we need. So what we did yesterday, we went back to the dyno with a small motor and a different turbo and managed to make the window between 15 and 40, which is great. It's working really good. It's a lot better than we had before. Now, the guys are swapping out the motor. We're gonna put on our stroker motor, which makes more torque. So the controllability is even that much more important because if it goes, if the boost just goes up to 40 pounds, we're gonna fry the tires and we're not gonna go anywhere.
Today we're here at the infamous Twins Turbo Motorsports in Signal Hill. The guys got done yesterday putting the stroker motor in the time attack car. This morning we're here. We're going to put the car on the dyno. First time we've ever had the car on the dyno packs. First time the car is actually going to be able to hook up with the stroker motor and the big turbo. We're thinking we might be able to make some big ponies today. We're hoping for over a thousand. I guess we'll just have to see. Everything was looking great. We were holding 14 pounds on the nose until we got to about the last 500 RPM in the pool and the boost started to climb about 10 pounds. Not good. Um, we determined the problem was with the wastegate. Some, one of the bolts was backing out so the wastegate wasn't working properly, started to, wasn't bypassing as much gas as possible. The guys are fixing that right now. We'll get it back on the car and we're going to make another pull in a couple minutes. Hopefully everything should be good and it should be a nice steady 14 pounds. Fire in the hole! That's a little bit of a letdown. <laughs> Seems like we had some sticky injectors and burned the engine down on our first low boost pull that seemed clean. Day's over.